Welcome to Bit Science. In this video, we will explore techniques for enhancing functionality and implementing navigation services in your Salesforce. Join us as we explore the topics like adding functionality without multiple inheritance, understanding mixings, implementing navigation mixing methods, and passing default values to navigation services. Whether you are an experienced developer seeking to broaden your skills or a newcomer, eager to delve into Salesforce development, you are in the right spot. Without further delay, let's dive in. Namaste. Welcome to Bit Science. Unlock the secrets of life and technology with our comprehensive biology and computer science education. That another concept that we are going to learn here, we know that multiple inheritance is not allowed in various languages, so in the JavaScript as well. So your component class can only extend one class that is lightning element. And that's why your component behaves like a lightning element. So lightning element do not provide you any navigational feature. So if you need to navigate from my custom element to any other class or any other functionality, you'll not be able to do it. Or you cannot add a navigation feature in the my custom element. So for example, if you click on a button that is present in the My Custom Element template, it will not take you anywhere to a different location, to a different place, to a different object. So to perform that navigation, we are going to use concept of mixin. Mixin concept is coming from the JavaScript. What is this concept all about? This concept is going to extend a class from multiple classes. So your my custom element can extend lightning element or and other classes also. So you'll be mixing two class in one. How that is possible? Let's see the def the uh, syntax first. So I'm extending navigation mixin and I'm passing lightning element to it. So your my custom element is getting navigation mixin functionality as well as lightning element functionality. Okay. So what is navigation mixin? So navigation mixin is a class available in your uh, Lightning API, which is going to provide you the navigation functionality. It is consuming the mixin concept, which will let you add functionality from multiple classes into single class like a multiple inheritance. Navigation mixin is providing you exactly two methods. One is navigate, other one is generate URL. Navigate will take you to that URL. So like a you, you click on a hyperlink and hyperlink takes you to that particular address. Just like that, navigate will work. Whereas generate URL is only going to generate the URL for you and return the URL to you. It's not going to take you to the URL. It's going to generate the URL. You can use that URL in the IMG tag, in the hyperlink tag, in the link tag, up to you, wherever you want to use that URL. But the job of generate URL is only generating the URL, not taking you to that URL. If you want to go to a particular URL, then use navigate. So how navigation service is going to work here? The navigation service will work like this. So I'm going to call navigation mixin.navigate in my class method that is extending navigation mixin. And then I say which type of page I want to go. I want to go to the object page. Then you have to pass attributes telling which object course delivery. And the course delivery object, which page you want to see. Do you want to see the record view? You want to see the new edit, delete, what kind of page you want to see. So the action that we want to see here is a new action. So you will click on this on add new delivery. You will call that JavaScript. And this is going to open a page of course delivery to create a new record there. Okay. So that's what we are going to try in the navigation service in our next. Sometime when you open a page in the uh, navigation mode, let's say edit purpose, or I'm creating a new 
contact from the account. So what do you want to do in that case? You want to assign the account name to the contact automatically. You need not to choose that because you are creating new contact from the account itself. So for that purpose, you can define some field values. So state and default field values. So we have an instructor. So I'm setting the instructor value as a default field value. As this is a property that you are setting, so we would like to encode the default field value. So it's going to wrap the value in the object field you know, in the right format and all that. So this is the job that is going to happen if you call state default field values. And there you have it. By incorporating these techniques for enhancing functionality and implementing navigation services, you will be well on your way to building powerful and user-friendly web applications. Stay tuned for more tutorials and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for future updates. Thanks for watching and happy coding.